Hey everybody, we're at the ghost town of Sasco this morning. We are out by Pikachu Peak in Arizona. We're gonna get out and go do some exploring. The ghost town of Sasco is about 35 miles northwest of Tucson and just south of Pikachu Peak where we're camping at, right off of Interstate 10. Not too hard to get to, directions are pretty straightforward. I'll put them right down in the description below for you. Truck there. What does this mean? That we cannot go through it. I don't know. Did the other car just go through it? Is it safe to go through it? A person jogging out there. You want me to pick you up on the other side? I'll drive through it and you meet me over there. You film me going through. Oh, okay. I can get through over here, walking through? If you walk across the tree. Oh, I can't, I can't walk across the tree. <laughs> yeah. You want me to film going through? Uh, just uh, out the window, because you can't make it through. see the smelter in the distance. There's a whole bunch of um, foundations out here. Let me get out here a little bit closer so I can show you. That almost looks like it was, I don't know if it was part of a wall or maybe part of a chimney. There's some old cans. Looks like somebody's used them for target practice. We haven't even got to the actual town site yet. See another foundation over here. We're gonna go check that one out. Oh, this looks very cool out here. Oh wow. This is like a, a basement. Probably, I think it looks like it's about eight to 10 feet down. Probably closer to 10 feet. Very interesting. I think these buildings here used to be some of the foundations for the railroad. I believe it was in the 1930s. That's when they came through and they uh, took up all the tracks and everything. I would guess the right of way went from up here back down over here. I think it went down through here. You look right here. This looks like an old tie plate. Oh, there. really? Oh, wow. Looks like an old old tie plate there for narrow gauge there. Hold it up so I can see it better. 
Oh, yeah. Pretty sure this is the right of way here. Found another uh, tie plate and the piece that goes to the tie plate. Do you think then that these uh, black piles out here are railroad related or smelter? I, I think they're more from the milling operation here. Do you? Okay. Interesting. There's something interesting we've come across in the desert. They're all the same thing. Probably over a hundred of these uh, detonator packages, detonator 50 foot lead. So not only were they blowing stuff up, they were leaving a lot of trash in the desert. We're on our way back over here now to go check out the smelter here at Sasco guy by the name of Frank Murphy got an idea to build a smelter site instead of having all these different little uh, places along the way uh, for the mines he would have one place here Frank Murphy was the man that was behind the Bradshaw Mountain Railroad and that is the current road to Crown King much of the road is built on the old railroad right away and uh, he came up with an idea to build the Arizona Southern Railroad here at Sasco, and then it would connect uh, to the Silver Bell Mine and then the Southern Pacific Railroad in Red Rock to the east. The work began summer of 1907 and finished in 1908. The daily uh, train transported people and supplies as well as the uh, precious commodities like water and copper in and out of Sasco. Only about 600 people lived in Sasco at its peak. So it wasn't a huge town, but you know, it had everything it needed. It had a post office, had a little uh, hotel for the um, some of the workers there at the smelter. Um, oh, they had a jail, little jail there. but. Um, I think that's pretty much gone now. I read that in 1911 that Frank Murphy filed for bankruptcy. And so after that, the town pretty much uh, just became a ghost town. They came in and uh, by the 1930s, I think it was, the railroad came in and they took all the tracks up and everything. So there isn't really much left. You can barely see part of the right of way in some of the video here found this laying on the ground out here. Looks like copper. So you can see that there's been a lot of vandalism done out here. Looks like there's been some people playing with explosives out here. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Go on in there, Ramblin'. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Go on the other side and look inside. That's I, creepy. I walked through the inside. I oh, you did? Yeah. You already went in there? Uh-huh. Go on in. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. You'll like it. <laughs> you gotta go inside and tour it. All right. I can see people have been using paint guns in here. Stop. I'll oh, have to get over here on this side and look at this.
Oh man, that's some pretty big explosions to take that out. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Look at how big this concrete is, and it's just toppled over. You see this wire? Let me see. Uh-huh. It goes to the blasting caps. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, wow. They were blasting their way in here. Wow. Those are some big explosions. See where this goes. See if we can find a rambling in here. Walking up the hill to see what this is. Oh man. Oh, this is very cool. Bob, you need to come up here. Yeah. I'm going to check out here because we think, you know, well, we're pretty sure this is the railroad right away, right out here. I'll come down here and see what this is. So here's more of that, where it looks like that they put up, looks almost like false walls, but they're concrete block and then they blew it up. So I don't know. I don't know. These are numbered. There's three and four. And look at this. This is crazy. Each one of these lanes is numbered. Not exactly sure what it is, but it looks like ranges that I've been to. Uh, old range, where this is line 11. And you're looking out there, and you're firing down to there. I guess this is this is concrete bags of concrete that from maybe when they I don't know when they did these fake walls and then blew them up. So I don't know. What's inside the tunnel there, Ramblin? It ends right, right in there. You can see where it ends. All right. Yeah, go check it out. I'm guessing these bags of concrete were from where they built those fake walls. So this is what's left of the old right away. I believe they pulled up the tracks and everything in 1932. 
Oh, wow. This, this was the end of the line for the train. And oh, that's very, very neat. This would be the end of the line here for the Arizona Southern, the branch line. And it ends here. This is the track where the track once was. And it goes all the way out there and then it goes down where it meets up with the old Southern Pacific main line. We ended up pretty much spending from probably 9 30 10 o'clock in the morning till between one and two in the afternoon it's just well worth a trip out there if you like old ghost towns it's just really cool so we're back at camp now and i think that's going to be it for the day for us and we're going to be getting back on the road to see what other kind of adventures we can get into we'll catch up with you guys later bye What are these things here? These look like, they're not mylar balloons, but that's what I thought they were at first. They're shiny aluminum something. Let's check this out. Helicopter transport. Ooh, I don't know. What is that? All this wire? This looks like some serious stuff, guys. It's kind of just been left out here. I don't know. You just never know what you're going to find when you come out here to these places.